Today we're checking out some of the best cases available for the Galaxy Tab S9. I'll leave a link for everything covered in today's video in the description down below. So let's go ahead and get started. The Ultra Hybrid Pro Trifold Cover Case by Spigen is actually a really nice quality. This is gray. I'm not sure if there's other colors available. It's got a really nice soft touch material on the inside of the cover. Pretty simple to just snap it right into the case. On the inside, you've got a spot for the S Pen. There's a little notch here that you can use to get the S Pen out. Nice cutout on the back for the S Pen to charge as well. You can see perfect cutout for the camera and flash on the back. It would probably match the beige color Tab S9 better than the graphite one, but still looks really good in person. It's going to leave some fingerprints. Not bad overall though. Pretty minimal branding there on the side, and you can see it's got an extra protection on the corners. It has the auto sleep and wake function there as well. Power and volume buttons are covered by that soft TPU material and they seem to work pretty good. You don't have to push too hard and the volume buttons have some nice clickiness to them. Overall, pretty easy to use. Has a couple different angles here when in the stand position. Even seems to stand up in portrait mode as well. Has a nice oversized cutout for the charging port. Nice cutouts for the speakers on both sides as well. Overall, it does add a little bit of weight to the tablet. The case itself weighs about 300 grams, weighs about 790 grams with the case on. Overall, just a really nice trifold or folio style case from Spigen. Now the turtle skin case by Poetic is a nice and thick, rugged silicone cover. They usually have a couple different colors. So far, I believe they only have black available. Also has military standard drop protection. Now it's a super snug fit on here. To get the tablet in, just kind of work your way around the edges. It actually has a really snug fit for the S Pen on the back as well. So you don't have to worry about that falling off. Easily some of the best power and volume buttons. They're just really clicky and you barely have to push them in order to get them to work. I may have said this before, but I really wish Poetic would make a phone case like this. But yeah, the power and volume buttons on here, easily some of the best out there. As you can see, tons of screen protection there all the way around. It might be hard to see in the video, but you've got these little almost tread-like marks on the edges. Gives it a lot of extra grip when you're holding the tablet. One of the nice things about this case, they put these little vents or openings for the speakers where it makes the sound come towards you and it always makes the speaker sound better and louder. You can see around the camera and the flash on the back and just how thick this case is. Of course, here in the back is what looks like a turtle shell design, which looks really nice in my opinion. You've also got a really nice and large opening for the charging port there as well. So you've got these little bumps and heat vents on each corner, so when you lay this down, it doesn't rock back and forth. Weighs about 262 grams for the case itself. Weighs in at 756 grams with the case on. Now, if you just want something to prevent scratches, other types of wear and tear on your Galaxy Tab, you might want to consider this clear case by Z-King. It's a soft TPU, almost silicone material. Has a nice opening on the back for the S Pen. Nice cutout for the camera and flash on the back as well. They also add some extra protection here in the corners. Because this is a clear case, you are going to get some fingerprints on the back. It's not too bad as long as you wipe it off every now and then. You can see they leave an opening for the power button. Volume buttons are covered by the soft TPU material and everything seems to work pretty good. You don't have to push real hard to get them to work. Seems to have decent screen protection all the way around, especially for such a thin case. Nice and large opening for the charging port. Nice cutouts for the speakers. And overall, it gives the tablet a lot of extra grip. I definitely like how it looks and feels in person. And this is gonna be one of the lightest cases out there. Only about 106 grams for the case itself. About 640 grams with the case on. So if you want a really lightweight case, that's not gonna cover up what the tablet looks like on the back. This one's definitely a nice option. Now, if you're looking for a rugged silicone case for the Galaxy Tab S9, this is called the Case Bot by Fenty. Comes in two different colors, black and the one shown here is blue. This one is a super flexible silicone material. 
really nice ridges here on the side that really help give it a lot of extra grip. Sort of interesting holder here on the back for the S Pen. Surprisingly, it still charges through the silicone material. You can see it's got a really large opening for the power button. Volume buttons are covered by the silicone material and they're some of the easiest to use. You don't have to push them that hard to get them to work. You can see it's got really nice screen protection all the way around. Looks like they're using a similar style for the speaker cutouts that Poetic does with their turtle skin case where it makes the sound go towards you. And yeah, it does sound quite a bit better when the tablet's in this case. You can see it's got a nice honeycomb texture there on the back. Nice cutout on the back for the camera and flash as well. This one doesn't seem to be quite as thick as the Poetic turtle skin case. Looks like the opening for the charging port is just big enough. Kind of would like to see that a little larger, but still not bad. About 214 grams for the case itself. Weighs in at 710 grams with the case on. The Rugged Armor Pro case by Spigen, as you can see, looks sort of rugged, but it's still fairly thin and lightweight. Has sort of a matte finish to it, but it has a lot of little bumps on it to give it a little extra grip. Pretty flexible TPU material there on the inside. Just kind of work your way around the edges to get the tablet to snap into place. The S Pen either snaps into place or you can slide it in and out. Seems to stay in there pretty good. Nice cutout on the back for the camera and the flash. You've also got a carbon fiber design on the top and bottom. The design on the front cover kind of wraps around to the back a little bit. Power and volume buttons are covered by the TPU material. Also has the auto sleep and wake function. Fairly nice buttons on this one. Could have a little bit more clickiness to them, but they do seem to work pretty good. You've got a nice soft touch material here on the inside of the cover. Really nice and large opening for the charging port. You've got a couple different angles here when in the stand position. This one even stands up if you need it to. About 308 grams for the case itself. About 810 grams with the case on. Overall, just a really nice, slim, rugged case by Spigen. This folio style case by Soak is available in four different colors, dark blue, and the one shown here is black. Has a super soft, real grippy material on the inside cover. Really flexible TPU material that the tablet snaps into. Seems to snap into the back part fairly easily. Has a slot here in the middle for the S Pen. Fairly easy to get in and out as well. Nice large opening for the S Pen on the back. Nice protection for the camera there on the back. You can see it's got a large opening for the power button. Volume buttons are covered by the TPU material. Has the auto sleep and wake function. You'll also see a couple magnets here that keep the cover closed. Got a nice soft touch material on the front and back of the case. Pretty easy to get to the power button and the volume buttons have some nice clickiness to them. A nice large opening for the charging port on the bottom. Good cutouts for the speakers as well. I sort of like this style of folio case better than the trifold style, mainly because you can put it at almost any angle. Weighs in at 320 grams for the case itself. Weighs in at 822 grams with the case on. Overall, just a really nice folio case by Soak, which also has pretty good grip. Now this trifold folio style case by Tomovo comes in three different colors, navy blue, black, and the one shown here is turquoise. Definitely looks a little more blue in person than what the photos show online. Has a flexible TPU material that the tablet snaps into. Nice soft touch material on the inside of the cover, almost felt like material. More of a leather feeling material on the outside. Fairly simple to work your way around the edges to get the tablet to snap into it. Also has a slot here in the middle for the S Pen. Seems to work pretty good. Nice large opening on the back for the S Pen as well. You can see it's got a little bit of thickness to it to protect the camera and flash on the back. This is another one that has the opening for the power button. Volume buttons are covered by the TPU material. Also has the auto sleep and wake function. Also has two magnets there that keep the front cover closed. Fairly easy to get to the power button. 
Volume buttons work pretty good on here as well. Nice and large opening for the charging port on the bottom. Accurate cutouts for the speakers on each side. You've got a couple different angles when in the stand position. Looks like it'll also stand up. Not super sturdy that way, but yeah, it looks like you could use this in portrait or vertical mode. 296 grams for the case itself. Weighs in at 796 grams with the case on. Overall, just a nice folio case for the Galaxy Tab S9. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishby Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.